Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today, how have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to import your CSV data, that's um, data from Excel to Global Mapper, and then exporting that data as a shape file, right? Good. So now, let's um, open data files. Good, so we have what the file here, data and then we try to set up what the um, file import options the import type is actually what um, point then the coordinate order we have what our longitude latitude and the altitude so the order is actually what x before y right good so our x is what the eastern or the longitude first right good so the coordinate format is what um, decimal right good so we have um, decimal degrees right good so um use custom coordinate position we just leave that then coordinates line non coordinates appear immediately so now the coordinate delimiter the the file is a generic um, csv so you can either select comma here which is a separator or you leave it at what um auto detect right good so if you use any other one the the preview shows you that what the separator is not what you have selected so let's leave it at auto detect or you use the comma now assign a loaded point visual classification perhaps if the points you've loaded are points of maybe um, some schools or some rocks or maybe some oil and gas exploration points and rest of that you can you know specify the classification you can assign the yeah you can specify the classification yeah right good so now there are different um, point features with which you can use to um do your classification but we just leave it as an unknown because let's say it's general so i haven't set all of these we can just click on ok now the crs the unknown projection the projection of the data we are importing is or it cannot be automatically determined so we need to just click on ok by default since it's a latitude and longitude um, data which means it's what geographic the datum is um, wgs84 the units and um, arc degrees and then the elevations we have there in meters so we click on ok now we have successfully what imported what the points i um, from um, Excel to Global Mapper. The next thing is for us to now export these our points as what a shape file, right? Or maybe as shape file. So either we click on the layer, right click, and then come down to layers, then go to export layers to a new file, or we come up to files, then we go to export, and then we select what. Um, export vector slash um, lidar format right good now we have the select export format we are going to use the drop down to see what we need is a shape file so we click on shape file there then we click on ok now the tip is already here uh, that um, the data that we are exporting will be exported using the display projection which according to what we have here is um, wgs84 which is what the geographic as we have seen earlier now the shape file export option earlier while we were importing the data we saw that it was or they were imported right but they were imported as points so we are exporting points as well you can see area and lines are um unselected or maybe they are not active right but they are not active so we just click on export point so let's give it a name we are working on a folder called shp under the csv to global mapper to shp so let's call this one data and then we save now these are some other um, export options to just check we have an um, artificial layer artificial type to the database artificial map name to database so you can just um check all of them then by time you maybe open your your shape file and get to the attribute table you can see some of these options that you have checked or uncheck will either appear or not appear as the case may be right good so now we are going to leave what add um, elevation attribute to dbf right good as the database file then um, allow commas for so you can just see how you can check or maybe uncheck a few of them and see how they appear as we said earlier now the attribute setup 
what we have also realized is that you can only export what the list below contains the default set of that can be exported change the data type or length precision as needed to produce the the desired attribute collection so these are the type yeah these are the set of um, attributes that can be what exported right good tiling export bounds they are all left as default so we click on ok good now we have them um, successfully exported what the the points as what shape file we can decide to open it here as well open data files um, shp and then let's look at this particular one this okay good this is our shape file however we can also use them um, qgis to just um, run it through so shortcut ctrl shift v we browse yes then we look out for the shape file we open it up there add and then we close so we have our shape file here then we can open the attribute table to see what was exported we have name longitude then the elevation so basically this is how what the export of the points from csv to or to shape file looks like especially the attribute table and then these are the points that um, were actually exported so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope um, we've provided solution to this um, particular surveying or gs related problem on how to export your how to import um, excel data to global mapper and then export as what shape file so we are going to see you on the next one ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye